Okay, so here's another um, idea I have for this thing. So uh, a lot of times I go to a customer and they've got a faceplate on the wall and let's say that it's got four jacks in it. And the four jacks are labeled, uh, let's say, room 202 ABCD. Uh, and then you go back to the closet in the back and you see the patch panel that says room 202 ABCD, except none of them work. And you're thinking, well, what's the chances that all four Cat5 uh, cables got got bad together. Well, maybe a big mouse chewed through all of them because they probably are all running together, right? Or maybe the last installer was an idiot and he put the wrong faceplate uh, on the thing. Or maybe somebody in the office was a prankster and they rearranged the faceplates. So in any case, uh, you know, you could go to each jack, you could plug into one of the four, uh, use the tone function under tools, uh, toner, and put a tone on there. We're going to do that now just to make sure that this works. So there's a tone. I'm um, using tone one. Uh, there was also a forum post. Somebody wanted to hear what all the sounds were like. So here's one, two, there's three, this is four, four is just one big beep, uh, five. Okay, so those are the ones you have to pick from. Um, anyway, so yeah, I could go and plug this into one of those four and then go back to the closet and find it, right? And maybe if I got lucky, the three other ones on that same faceplate were right next to each other in the back in the patch panel. Uh, except uh, being uh, experienced as I am, I can tell you that that's not the case because the guy that did it before you was an idiot and did not line up the four jacks on the faceplate in any sequential order on the patch panel. So what I have done is basically made this adapter and what this does is it takes one cat5 cable with all the pairs in and then it splits out the individual pairs so just the orange pair is on here just the blue pair on here just the green pair here and just the brown pair here only on the center two pins uh, which is commonly the blue pair um, we're doing 568b here because I don't know anybody that uses a um, so now the tone is on just an individual pair. So it's on. Let's do this so that there's no crosstalk. So orange is the loudest. So it's on orange. So according to this, this is on pair one and it's orange. Okay, great. So now if I move it to pair two, it's not here. Now it's on green which is the largest, so pair two is green. So I've done these two. So now if I do pair three, pair three is blue, okay? And pair four is brown, okay? Um, fine, That's that works. What would be really great, so that I wouldn't have to go between the jack on the wall and the closet four times and move this, uh, or move this because maybe my phone is too far away from you know the this thing attached to the jack on the wall and I lose the Bluetooth signal. I would want to put a different tone on pair one, pair two, pair three, and pair four. Uh, and even better, I would want to put a tone on pair one that audibly says this is pair one, and a tone on pair two that says this is pair two. So when I go in the closet. Okay, I would know that I've put pair one, let's say the orange pair one, into uh, the jack A. When I go back in the closet and I'm searching for that, when I hit it, I know, oh, this is, it'll announce this is pair one. And then I could label it correctly that that was jack A, uh, and so on. And I could make one trip to the closet with this contraption plugged in, and I could do four jacks at a time. So that would be... A major time saver. Now obviously I don't know what the capabilities are either if it's a hardware limitation or an app limitation of basically being able to play a separate tone on four separate pairs simultaneously uh, as opposed to just switching them like we're doing here. So that would be cool. Um, it's actually something I've considered making myself uh, out of using those little um, uh, you know those things when you open a greeting card and it plays some random birthday song or some other stupid thing. Um, 
I could re-record that message to basically say this is pair one and I could do that to four greeting cards and then I could shove the speaker output onto uh, that pair and I could accomplish the same thing but then I gotta build another contraption for me to carry in my tool bag and I'm already carrying around this contraption so it would be nice uh, if this thing would do that 